When you have a build that takes a few options, you create a Bazel RC file and use it to pass configuration options to your build. The Bazel RC is a hidden file called aptly.bazelrc. You can provide your build options in that file, which will be applied to all builds, but you can designate flags for certain configurations. That way you can choose a configuration at build time. Bazel looks for the Bazel RC file in three different locations. First, on macOS, Linux, and other Unix variants, it will search the Etsy directory. On Windows, it searches in program data. The next place is in your workspace directory next to your workspace. The final place on Unix-based systems is your home folder and your user profile directory on Windows. Alternatively, you can also pass in a Bazel RC file. To get started, navigate to the root of the monorepo. Create a Bazel RC file. We'll add our flags to build our Android app. Add the following. Now let's try this out. Build the app. This time our build runs fine because all the flags are added. But these flags will apply for all builds in the mono repo. This doesn't make sense when building an iOS app. Instead, we can declare a certain configuration. Update Bazel RC to the following. Here we've created a DEX configuration. To run it, we simply pass in the configuration using the config flag. To show that the config file is being used, let's clean the build. Just a note about Bazel clean. Each time you run your build, Bazel will analyze your code looking for any changes. It will then compile those affected targets. This means you will rarely ever need to do a clean. In fact, you'll only be increasing your overall compile times. Now we'll run the build using the DEX configuration. Mind you, you can do other things with Bazel RC files, such as specify startup options. You can import other Bazel RC files and so forth. For more information, see the documentation.